It happened again! I just uploaded part two of our fan mail opening video, and we got something else in the mail! You guys are so nice, like, I can't even believe it. And this is from rubberstamps.net, which really has me curious. So instead of waiting until multiple things came in to all inbox, or to open at once, I'm just gonna open it today. <laughs> This will be another clip video where, over time, I'll just take clips opening the, the amazing gifts from all of our fans, and I'll have random animals with me throughout. Cheyenne is molting, so she's like extra naked today. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh! <gasps> what? This is a snake discovery stamp! Oh my goodness. Okay, who sent this? Is there a letter? I hope there's a letter that comes with it. I didn't see. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep opening it. I don't see a letter yet. I can't figure out who this is from, other than it says bill to rubberstamps.net. So I wonder if this was given to us from the company themselves. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, nice, it even comes, oh, wow. More than that was, ex oh my gosh, I get it. It comes with two green uh, color stamps, or the ink pads, rather, for the stamp to look just like our logo. Oh, is there another color? Oh my gosh. There's another color option. Look at that. We've got colored ink pads along with a customized snake discovery stamp. I thought maybe it was like bought from a fan to be sent to us, but I think this was sent right from the business as just a little gift. Whoa, scratch that. They actually sent us four separate colors, all different shades of green. So we can like pick the one that matches our logo the best. Wow, this is so cool. This stamp may be dangerous. Do you know how many things I can stamp with this? I need to stamp something. Stamp. 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 That might have been an important document. Stamp. Stamp. Oh wait, that was Ed. Sorry. I may have too much fun with this. Thank you very, very much. I think I actually might use this to stamp all of the packages and all of the letters that go out, like for our Patreon supporters, and for like if a snake gets mailed out, maybe I'll stamp the box with this. Today, we have several things. We're gonna start today with this little envelope. I love the shiny tape. I don't know where you get shiny tape. That's really cool. Whoa, are these stickers? Look at this. Oh, it says, hello, I'm Megan and I'm a huge fan. I own a sticker slash art shop and wanted to send some stickers. These are 100% drawn and printed by me. I love your channel and thought you might enjoy these. Oh, thank you, Megan. Oh, these are cool stickers. There's a crested gecko, green tree pythons, a sand boa. This looks like a cat skull. There's haha, <laughs> a tokay gecko. Wow, you're really talented, Megan. These are really good drawings and you turned them into stickers. How creative is that? I'm definitely going to have to put some of these on the racks. And the Tokay Gecko yelling Tokay is appropriate because they're named Tokay because it sounds like they're saying their name. However, and this isn't super PG, but they're also called the F.U. Lizard because it sounds like they're yelling F.U in the jungles at night. So Google the F.U. Lizard and you'll see what I mean when you watch the first video that pops up on YouTube. Thank you so much, Megan, for these stickers. I'm gonna have to find some fun places to put them so that you can see them in future videos. If you like the stickers too, you can check out Megan's Art Shop on Facebook or Blue's Creations on Instagram. Next for today, I have a letter from, looks like Indi Indiana, super sealed with tape. Um, I might need the knife for this. Yep, this is very sealed. I need the knife. Snake discovery knife. Now I should be able to open this envelope. Oh, there's a bunch of folded up pictures. Whoa, blow pens are still a thing? Nice! I grew up with blow pens. I'm a 90s kid. I did not know kids nowadays still use them. Thank you, Carter. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, go... What the... There, okay. And the last one for today's clip is this beautiful pink package that doesn't have a from ad, uh, name, so I'm just gonna have to open it and find out. <laughs> I can't open it. <laughs> okay. That was not smart. There's a couple solid things in here. Hopefully it's not one thing that broke in transit. We'll find out. Whoa! The 
package smells really nice. My name is Stephanie and I am a soap maker here in the middle of Tennessee. Is this soap? Aw, Stephanie, this is soap. Pink Turtle Soaps. Is that the business? That's the business name, Pink Turtle Soaps. There's glitter in this soap. That's really sweet. What? Okay, there's another one too. There's two bars of soap in here. Wow. One's called Pink Orchid and Amber and one's called Best Man. I wonder if that one's for Ed. I should probably read the entire letter. I have sent two soaps, one for you and one for Ed. I should have read this first. Aw, thank you, Stephanie. That's a really nice letter that you included in here. That was so nice of you to send us a gift. This is like really nice smelling soap. PinkTurtleSoaps.com is where this came from. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Oh, hang on. My corn snake's escaping into the couch. Ed's home. He likes the soap and the stickers. <gasps> yeah, I told you you'd like Rack green stickers. Trees. Rack stickers. What's that? The, the wax sealed one. Oh, have you not opened that yet? No, I haven't. You need a letter opener for that. Well, I have official. a knife. No, no, no. Official. An official letter opener? I have a letter opener. Do I you don't really? know if it's here, though. Do you not just pop off the wax? Oh, you have to use a letter opener for it. Isn't a letter opener like essentially just a knife? But it's a dull knife. What's so it? But you just still slice it on the top, right? Yeah, but it's specifically to open letters. Letters. It's letters. the same thing as using this. So, so you gotta use a letter opener to pop it. Oh, you pop it? Yeah. So you like sneak it in and then like twist it and pop yeah. it? Or uh, you just cut it. I don't, I don't think I did it right. I like how it says easy opening. <laughs> it does. Easy to open. I think I'm just gonna... Ta-da! Oh my god, it's amazing. That was way more challenging than it should have been. Don't read this part on video. Oh, it's been about a week since I checked the P.O. box and guys, there's so much mail in there. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. There's even quite a few this time that are from different countries. Like this letter is from Scotland. Nyah. And Australia. This one's even from Canada. I can't show you the whole letter though because the address is in there. But thank you very much, Liam, Joseph, and Cornell. The gift you left in here is very appreciated. It will go straight to the animals. This one even has a colored envelope. How cool is that? There's something in here, something squishy. Huh. There's a bracelet in here. Oh, it fits. Thanks, Aubrey. This one makes noise. Hopefully that wasn't fragile. What is jingling in here? Uh, there's a bracelet with a key on it. You know, I bet it's actually a necklace. It's just kind of tied up. I like it. Thanks, Erica. You're so active. You're just gonna jump right away, aren't you? You're so up. Oh. Quit jumping. Quit jumping, little girl. Stay on my shirt. Oh, and there she goes. We switched her for Doug. This one is from France. Holy cow. From Frisia? I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Ah. I'm thinking about getting an albino baby corn snake. That's an excellent starter snake. And I think this is a bracelet. That's really pretty. Oh wow, there's even more in here. Frisia, your gift in here was really nice. Thank you so much. I'll use it to buy Rex a nice snack. Don't eat ditto. Aw, a picture of one of our subscribers, I think. And pictures that she drew. Now I have a question. Are you going to breed your legless lizards? I would love to. Breeding them is really non-existent in captivity. But I'm sure someday we'll figure it out. And who knows, maybe I'll be able to breed them too someday. Wow, really fancy packaging. Oh, it's like a whole laminated photo. Aw, happy birthday, Aiden. Ooh, this is from New York. I made you a necklace that has my favorite characters from your YouTube channel on it. Haha, <laughs> this is super cute. I see a snake. I see a snake with a heart. Aw. Fatness, our garter snake. Rex, our alligator. Here's the logo. Nice job on it. <laughs> Janet, the bull snake. Cheyenne, our macaw. And, oh cool, one million star. I'm gonna put that on right now. I love it, Lindsay, thank you. Before I open the last package, I just wanna show you this really cool piece of art. This is from Karina. She gave this to me at one of my uh, school programs. She like handed it to me in person. I thought it was so cool that I just had to include it in this fan mail opening video. Genevieve, I love your handwriting. Look, there's even a drawing on the envelope. Doug, you're making this so difficult. Ugh. Really? Where are you going? Don't go in the couch. You can sneak a peek first. What's in there? Can you tell? Uh oh, you turned away from it. Oh, is that a sock? Waylon, what did you give me? It's a stuffed snake made out of a sock. That is unique. I don't think I've ever seen something like that before. Oh, that's a cute little Eastern hog nose that you drew. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Your last name is Waylon. Thank you, Cecilia. Will you and Ed ever have kids? 
no, we're not planning on having kids. We have too many reptiles keeping us busy. <laughs> My mom wants us to have kids because she wants grandkids, but I think the closest thing she's gonna get to a grandkid is a grand gator. Today we have even more things. Let's start with this one. I kind of peeked inside and saw that it wasn't like just a letter. There's stuff in here. Oh, cool. Look at that. It's the logo. Oh my gosh. Is that a flip book? I think it's a, the pop-up book. I'm going to let you guys see it before I do. And Ed, since he's behind the camera. Holy moly. Is it a pop-up? It is. Oh my gosh. There's so much in this. Nicole, you spent so much time on that. That is awesome. Look at that. Look. It goes, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> Cheyenne likes it too. Thank you, Nicole. That's really cool. I've never received anything like that before. Put a lot of effort into that. Next, we have a postcard. I'm Hannah. I recently sent you a stamp. What? <gasps> hey, the Hannah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have to go get it. The case has been solved. Hannah sent us the stamp. Hannah, we really liked this thing. This is really such a thoughtful gift. Thank you so much, Hannah, again for the stamp. It's nice to know that, like, who gave it to us. So thank you for the postcard. We finally know. We finally know. Don't eat the stamp. I think I see a picture of Rex. I do see a picture of Rex. Oh, it's colored on this side. It's Rex. I have some sad news in this clip, too. One of the letters that you sent us got destroyed in the mail. And apparently, the Postal Service does not care as much as they say they do on here because this is completely, almost completely destroyed. It's from Camille over in Utah. Come on, USPS. Oh, I saw this gift when I was in Hawaii. It reminded me of Michelle and now Michael. I hope you love this gift. The gift came out. Oh, Camille, I'm sorry that the Postal Service destroyed your letter and the gift must have come out of the envelope too. I'm sure it would have been an amazing gift. We do appreciate your letter though. That at least made it through. Well, part of it. Yeah. Some of part the letter. Part of it wasn't ripped off. Yeah, part of it came through. New Life Spine from Ohio? Usually an easy way to open those. Like a tab. Is there? Oh, there's the tab. <laughs> That's so much easier. There's a clay snake in here. You like it too? Here. I want to set it on your head. Oh, Ugh. nope, guess not. And what size I should get for a garter snake. For garters, it depends on what size the garter is. Babies can really only eat small, small pinky mice. Sometimes you may have to take off the head until they're able to eat a full pinky mouse. So hopefully that helps. <laughs> International. Oh, you open that up. Ugh, there's so much tape on here. Who is this to, from? Do you want me to open it until you can get to a point where you can easily open it? <laughs> no, I can struggle. Can't find a name on who sent this, but man, you're gonna make me work for it. Ah. This is duct tape outside of this box. What's inside? There is no name actually, but there's a lot of colorful tissue paper in here. Get it! Good girl! Pull it out! Get it! Get it! No, pull it out! I just want to rip it. Get it! Oh, I see pictures. <gasps> Scrolls. Oh, this is from the UK. It is from the UK. Maybe UK sends everything it in probably schools. sent it by owl to the <laughs> post office, the customs to send it to us. Oh, that's really, oh my gosh, it's nearly headless Nick. Oh, Before wow. eye surgery, it looks like. Oh, it's Nick with his eyes. We have pre-eye surgery, post-eye surgery? Oh, I don't know. It's us! <laughs> ah, that is really, and Cheyenne! And Rex, and Candy Cane, and Vic. Oh my gosh, Murdoch's in here? You get your first drawing, Ed. Ah. Oh my gosh, I love your handwriting. Okay, in this package I included fan art, chocolate from the UK, pictures correlating to what I said in the letter, and the letter. Oh! Hey! It's you! It's Cheyenne in her heart is. Wow, that's you can really tell good. She's naked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the chocolate. Ooh, Cadbury Dairy Milk. Milk chocolate. Oh! This is gonna be good. I'll try some right now. How do you open the UK chocolate bars? Is there like a little pull tab? Cool, I took out two squares, so you can have one too. Oh wow. That's really good chocolate. I'm kind of jealous of you guys over in Europe. You have really tasty chocolate. Thank you, Molly, for the chocolate bar. Mmm. This can be my lunch. Cheyenne chews her beak when she wants something that we're eating. Mmm. <laughs> but you can't have this. And finally, we have 
a big box from Amanda. When I first saw this box at the PO office, my immediate response was, is there a snake in there? Because this is the same size box that we ship and receive snakes in. But I didn't see air holes, so I'm assuming you didn't send me a snake, Amanda. But look, it's a present! Oh my gosh, it is a present. Yeah! Uh, wow. Whoa! I really just like the box! I think I see a picture of Rex in here. Here! Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty! It's actually our wedding colors. Yeah, you're right, actually. That navy blue. Yeah, this is exactly our wedding, one of our wedding colors. It'd be funny if it was a box within a box within a box. Oh, nesting boxes. She just made you go through all this stuff just because you put in an empty box. <laughs> yes. There's like a tiny little box yeah. in the middle. Oh, is this a Rex puzzle? Recently bought my first snake, an albino ball python. That was your first snake. I was excited to learn Ed's first snake was also an albino <laughs> ball python. Oh, perfect. In your reptile room tour, you briefly added that you like puzzles. I hope you enjoy this 500 piece Rex puzzle. I figured it might be a nice activity during the snowstorm. Oh my gosh, Amanda. She looks just like yours. Oh, she looks just like Athena. <laughs> oh my goodness. I cannot wait to start this. Okay, we're doing a puzzle marathon after this clip. Thank you so much, Amanda. This was a really thoughtful gift as well. The Missing Piece Puzzle Company. Well, that's not good. Yeah. That's a terrible name for a puzzle company. <laughs> Um, Ed and I just got back from like 10 days out of town. We went to the Tinley Park Reptile Show, and then afterwards we went to Orlando for a couple of pet-related things. And when, when we came back, the P.O. Box was overflowing. So this might be the last clip for this video. Um, but we have a lot to open today. It was really cool to see. Let's start with this package. This, uh, oh, never mind. You can't see that yet. That's for, our, that's for another video. Sorry, I just totally whacked you with the box. Okay, we have officially started the Rex puzzle, and it's bigger than we thought it would be. We're gonna start with this. <laughs> Look at this. Open with the knife, Emily, because you're yes. horrible at opening envelopes. Fine. I think these are pictures, Cheyenne. Hognose Queen. I will gladly have that title. <laughs> Cute. This must be what her piebald looks like. Yeah, cool. Aw, congrats on the, your first snake. Piebald's an awesome morph choice to pick for your first snake, too. Oh, cute! You drew an axolotl! Ah, By Amelia. We can buy you a treat, Cheyenne. No, no, don't chew on that. Don't chew on the dollar. Thank you, Amelia, for the gift. It'll go straight to our pets, and I love the axolotl drawing. This is the tiniest note I've ever received. Oh, it has your phone number on it. You started opening other side, this? Other side. Look at the other side. Nope. Other corner. This? There you go. Yeah. Oh, you did start opening it, didn't you? <laughs> Hi, I saw this and thought you might like it. I made the compilation video you shared on your Twitter. Oh, cool. This is you, Alexa. Nice. Oh, I think I see the shape of a turtle. Oh, it's super cute. It's a wow. turtle hatching. That's adorable. It is. Whoa. It's pretty, too. Oh, this is going to have to go up next to all the other things that I don't want to put on the couch, though, because I don't want it to fall. So I have to do plush things behind me in case they fall, they don't break. But this is going to have to go on the shelf for when we film. Thank you so much, Alexis, for this. This is beautiful. What a nice gift. Okay, we haven't gotten very far. I did that. I did the logo. Now we're working on the side. And he thinks that fits. It doesn't line up at the bottom. Well, we're also doing this in the dark, so... Yeah. This is a tough puzzle. <laughs> Look at Rex. <laughs> That's really cute. Whoa, this is a great picture of nearly headless Nick. Nice job, Lynn. That's like merch worthy. You should draw our merch. This. Aw, thank you for the best party ever and Hoggy. This is from Henry. Oh, that's cute. So Henry, I did his birthday party not too long ago and I brought one of our baby hog noses for him to keep afterwards, which I posted about on the community page when it happened. But I didn't know you were gonna send me a card. That's adorable. Royal Mail. This is, I think. Oh, across the pond. Yeah. You guys just like watching me suffer when I open envelopes. Apparently I need to get Emily a snake discovery letter opener. I guess. Got it. Okay. You look really dangerous there for her. My snake's name is Harper. Aw, it's a birthday card for Rex. That's so cute. With a hog nose on it. Isn't that cute? Cute pictures, Holly. Now I see what you were talking about in the previous one. These are hand drawn and handmade stickers and magnets that I draw and make myself. Cool. Whoa, these are real. A giant, I see you in there. I gotta open this up. No way. Oh my gosh, they're magnets. I thought they were stickers. It's you. Sweet, these can go on the new rack. Are they all or are they some of them stickers? Yep, there's a few magnets and of different ball python morphs 
and a few stickers. If you want to check out these magnets and stickers yourself, you can find Margaret's designs at Terra Tiger Stickers on Facebook. <laughs> Look at all these designs! These are really cool, Margaret! Actually, I don't think that's a berm. I think that's a bull snake. It's not a bull snake. It's totally a bull snake. Let's see. That's no way that's a bull that's snake. That's a bull snake. It doesn't have the right face for a berm. If it doesn't have the right body for a bull snake. Hey, Margaret. <laughs> Tell us in the comments which one this was supposed to be, if it's a Burmese python or if it's a bull snake. No, <laughs> don't let her dis dissuade you. The colors are totally burm. Which one do you think it is, guys? Please open this with Cheyenne. Well, perfect! Cheyenne is my favorite, but that's probably because I'm bird biased. In this envelope, I sent a tail feather and Polaroid picture from my cockatiel whose name is Finnick. Layla, we are going to utilize Finnick's tail feather in our feather collection jar. This is where we keep all of the really nice feathers, not all of them, but most of the nice feathers that are molted from our macaws in the past. So there's like some from a scarlet macaw we had, there's my old military macaw Oliver's feathers in here, tail feathers from our African Grey, and in front... Buddies. And, oh yeah, buddies too. Buddy was my green wing macaw, there's some in there from him. And in the front is gonna be Finnick's tail feather. Thank you! Giant pine cone! Ah, this thing is cool. It's from Vivian in North Carolina. <laughs> Cheyenne, you're not helping. Whoa! Whoa! A scroll. Another scroll. As okay. an illustrator, this was the best way I could think of to give a little something back to you. I hope you like it. If you're at all interested in using this image, please feel free to send me an email and I'll share a high-resolution digital copy with and without the logo for you to repurpose. Aww! That's so nice of you, Vivian. Let's see what it looks like. Whoa! Even naked Cheyenne's in there. It's a whole mural. Yeah, is she? Oh yeah, it's naked Cheyenne. Aw, wow. She even did the uh, fat-tailed gecko morphs, the three stink pots, the turtles, the snapper. Wow, that's so cool. The Doug salamanders. Right yep, there's Doug. The false chameleons are in there. Wow. That must have taken some time and effort. Yeah, Vivian. I mean, we have a somewhat newish banner right now, but when it, we're ready to have it updated, I will be hanging on to your contact info so that we can switch it to this one too. This, this is incredible. You put a lot of effort in there and I love, oh, there's nearly headless oh. Nick. I love that you put our like specific animals in there too. Thank you very much for this, Vivian. I, I will be reaching out to you uh, eventually and we will, we will switch it to your design. It's a drinky dink! Yeah, it did It did break, unfortunately, but I can fix that. It's no problem. I will fix that, and that is gonna go up next to our other shrinky dink designs. That's gonna be in the background of our videos. Cool, thank you, Yolanda. That's, I, we've never had a shrinky dink version of our logo before. Okay, we have just two things left, a letter and this big package from somewhere over overseas. So I'm gonna save that for the end. What is this? A bookmark, I think? I think this is a bookmark. That's really neat. You even like made it yourself by adding the yarn. That's really cute. Thanks, Daniela. I'm sorry, this is all we could get done by the time I had to finish editing this video. So I guess we'll just have to give further updates on the puzzle's progress in the next mail opening video. This video is gonna take forever to put together, but it'll be worth it. And whoa, it's from New Zealand. Zealand? I hope you enjoy my gift I made for you and wish you and your reptiles well for 2019. Okay, Aaron, what's inside? Whoa! Cool. That is really cool. It's Doug! You even got his freckles! That's really cool. You've got his saddles perfectly, and you did the logo! We're gonna have to hang this up somewhere. I don't know where yet, but we are going to display it somewhere. Thank you very much, Aaron. Holy cow, everyone. You are all so generous. I, like, am awestruck. Every time I open the P.O. box, there's, like, always something there, because you are all so amazing. Thank you for all of these wonderful gifts. And hopefully you start seeing them in future videos, maybe in the background or on our racks, like for the case of stickers. As always, I want to thank the Patreon supporters for backing this channel, and thank you again to everyone who has sent us a letter, a picture, or even a gift. They are all greatly appreciated. Even if I don't include all of the letters or the pictures in the videos here, we go through them all, and they all make our day. Thank you for everything, guys, and we'll see you next time. Before we leave, though, let me show you some of the other artwork that we've received in our P.O. box.